well, uh, welcome everyone to uh, the splendid Heston Hyde Hotel. Yeah, just uh, outside of Heathrow, here in London, just outside of London, Middle Middlesex to be absolutely uh, precise. And uh, welcome, uh, a familiar face, although we've not seen much of it recently. <laughs> and to my colleague, Mark Pickworth. Good morning, Kev. Are you alright? That's loud. Good morning. It's nice to see you. Yeah, no. <laughs> Don't get out often. So, what do you think of this hotel then? Yeah, it's spacious. room yeah. so uh, we thought now that you'd uh, you, you popped in for an event this year we'd, uh, we'd uh, get you in the box yeah yeah well I've got a lot of making up to do haven't I so, there's a lot changed since you were last here tell me oh, that oh, oh, what's been going off there's buttons everywhere oh no Dave how come Dave has all this space anyway have you seen all the kit he's got? Mm -hmm. Ridiculous again, isn't it? So he's going to have to help him pack up anyway. I think he'll be here after us. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so this is the uh, the final tour event of the year. And, uh, well, what a year it's been. <laughs> well, feels like the start for me. <laughs> <laughs> We, we, we've had our problems, we know that. But, uh, but um, you know, we'll deal with them and we will um, come back next year bigger, better, stronger, more more of Dave's kit. Yeah, it'll soon be here, won't it? <laughs> yeah, brilliant, thanks. Yeah. Just, just looking for some time off. <laughs> so, yeah, so. Um, we hope you've enjoyed um, what we've brought you so far. We've got uh, a few new little, uh, well, Dave has We've got a few new uh, toys to uh, to show you this year. And there's the first one. So that's these, this brand spanking new overhead camera. That's going to bring us some great pics um, over the weekend and in years to come. Um, there's, we've got some other cameras that um, we can bring you. We can bring you action from from some of the other tables. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's it's there's not going to be uh, much time for sitting around this weekend. No, definitely not. We've got to try and get a minute's worth out of it, haven't we? <laughs> So, we've got um, ex world champion Jason Twist and multi world champion ex IPA seniors world champion yeah, Jason Twist, very very familiar face to uh, to you all against um, against um, one of the most consistent, probably. Underrated players, well, certainly not on the on the tour, but uh, maybe people who uh, are not close to the tour. Andy Blurton, who is uh, is a class act on and off the table. Yeah, I mean, so definitely, definitely second that one. Yeah, he's uh, he's certainly uh, ruffled a few feathers in the last uh, twelve eighteen months. This has probably been his best season as well, hasn't it? Yeah, I think so. He had a good a good season last season. 
qualified for uh, for pro status. And um, yeah, he's uh, he came close at uh, at Bradford to get to the final. I think he got beaten the semi um, of the pro event. Jason's got his arms full there, hasn't he? Yes. Yep. I think um, the bookmakers would have probably had Jason's slight favourite at the start of this match, but um, I think on form, I think Andy's, uh, Andy is favourite. Yeah, I think someone's telling me you get 64 on Andy, but is that right? Yeah. So yeah, the table looking in uh, prime, prime condition. Can you uh, just see the, the arena there? And there we go, that's first blood to, to Andy Blurton. And we'll just show you our... Uh, our little stats board that we'll be bringing up from uh, from time to time, and uh, we'll look, take a bit more look at that as the match progresses. See if it uh, if it tells if it tells the story. <coughs> so wherever you're watching, hope you're enjoying it. Uh, you're watching uh, sneakily at work or uh, here at the hotel upstairs in your room. But, uh, it's going to be a great weekend. We'll see some great matches, great players, great drama. There's nowhere else to be watching Paul these days. Is he dry? Yep. Dear. So we've got um, 19 tables in action here uh, this weekend. Probably around 200 players. Can't remember exactly how many was in the draw. Um, which for for a last event of the year is um, unprecedented. Because um, you know people. Um, if they've not had a great season, uh, they may uh, be reluctant uh, to come to come to a last event. But um, I think it's testament to what we're doing here, and you know how much people enjoy the events. That um, we've still got you know close to 200 players this weekend. Jason was flying out to China straight from here, Monday. Is he really? Yeah, with a few few of the other IPA pros who are uh, going to try themselves, try their hand at um, Chinese eight ball. How many's going there? Um, I think there's there's a good four or five going. Mm-hmm. Clint's certainly going. Jack, Jack. Yeah. Jason, Ronan's going. Yeah. Yeah. Likes travelling as well. He has to travel everywhere, doesn't he? Loves, loves an aeroplane. He must have some air miles. Has he got a passport left? The <laughs> <laughs> full. He has to renew his passport every year because it's like many stamps in. He was um, in Morocco um, two weeks ago with um, uh, Mark Farnsworth and uh, Neil Rayborn and Jordan Shepherd, and um, they were treated like royalty. So are here as part of the IPA World Series. Could be no man's land. (coughs) 
So if you want to catch up with all the live scores, we're just getting uh, the uh, the system updated because we are using tablet scoring here and all the all, all the tables. So um, you'll be able to catch the scores as they happen. <laughs> Yep, so that's all up and running at the moment. Julian Slater, he's 2-1 up already. They've only been playing five minutes. He's playing Mike Quinn. So if you go to uh, the IPA webpage, and uh, there'll be a, a website page, and there'll be um, a ticker running along the top. You can click on the... Uh, on the draws link and it'll take you to all the uh, to the groups and pro event, amateur event and you can just uh, click on whichever event you wish and uh, it'll take you straight to the to the live scoring. Something we've tried to get right for quite some time unsuccessfully but um, I think we're just about there with it now. So if you've got any questions for us that you want to uh, test mark with, just uh, ask away. <coughs> if you're in the area, want to come down, see what all the fuss is about, it's free to come and watch. Come and watch some of these great players in action. guess uh, how many months is it now to the world? Got the World Championships beginning of February. Yep. Just about four months, is it? Four now? months. Yes. Yeah. Fly by, won't it? Then we're back into the tour, so all the uh, details for the next year's tour um, are announced and, uh, and out there. So uh, if you uh, want to get in, uh, in on the action and uh, testing yourself against uh, all the top players uh, and, and Mark. And um, <laughs> very funny. There's only one place to be. A little shake of the head there from Jason. I don't think he was um, too happy about that uh, kiss, but uh, Still. I'm sure he's seen a lot worse in his time. Yeah, definitely. I'm surprised at this one. Just got one his jaw, hasn't he? Lampard. Yeah, played it well. Jason's going to be important for him to keep his focus in this match because, you know, Andy's not one of these that's going to run around the table. He's just going to do what he does best. It's pretty solid, isn't it? Yep. I think I've seen Jason at the table twice. One of them's a break. So early tune in lead for Andy Blurton. The only time your name will be on the uh, on the stream this weekend, Mark. <laughs> That's good to know. So 
Let's just go on the stream table then. Table four. Just have a look. Do we know what table number it is? I think it's 18. Sean Moore is 4 1 up on Toby Bolt. So we'll uh, we'll bring you something from that table uh, when we get the opportunity. So Jason is on red balls. Taking these out if he wants to get back in this match, doesn't he? Yep. Yep. Black's tricky, and uh, obviously he's got one to move. It's going to look to do on this shot. Yeah, ideally, just like to hit that yellow full in the face from this uh, side rail, just like that. Played it well. Played that well. Very well. You could see that on the overhead camera. I think we're going to say that phrase quite a few times this weekend. We like new toys, don't we? Certainly do. New toys. There's cameras everywhere, isn't there? Everybody wants cameras. Just to make sure he gets um, the right angle on this one. It's a bit of work to do. It should be it? okay. Right. You can run it through. I think it would just like to another couple of inches, but. To keep going, yeah, it's, well, it's, it's asking the question. Smooth all the way. Yeah. He's got back into it. Yeah, with a nice breaking dish. He's pumped. He's pumped. So it's two for two on the break anyway. It certainly is. I mean, Andy, the first one was uh, dry. I'm just going to press this button and see what it does. Oh, that's what it does. You like that? You like your little toys, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I can't, I can't click the other one because they're not sponsoring the event. Oh, I see. Have to invoice them. It's a big break, oh, but that's, a um, that's a huge break as well, isn't it? How do we put that on the stat, Dave? <laughs> We've not got a category for um, four balls from the break, including the black. What about rewack? Is that on there? Yeah. No. We've got uh, that unforced errors uh, category for when you're on the stream on, the, on Sunday, <laughs> but there is a maximum number we we can put in. <laughs> <laughs> put in. See if David delete off me when I'm on. So can we... Oh, we'll just wait till Andy breaks. I just wonder if we could get a quick look, Dave, when we get, get a chance to look at the other table. Stop all. Mr. Black looks a little bit awkward. <coughs> oh, does it go in that top left? I think it does. Look at that uh, camera four. You mean the overhead camera? Yes, the overhead camera. That's good. If we can just quickly go to camera six, Dave. Um, Toby Bolt is uh, is just playing. He's got a black. Must go four three, is it? 
think this is to stay in the match. Yeah, it's just. It's like, I think that's 4 3 now. Alright. So, yeah, we'll just keep dipping in and out of, of that uh, of that match, keeping an eye on it. Toby, one of the local guys around here, isn't it? Yeah, he's, I, I think he's from the other side of London. I'm not, not certain. So if you're looking for the live scores, live results, just go on to uh, the IPA Facebook page and uh, the ticker running along the top. Just click on, uh, on the uh, draws. I'm going to re redo that. Put it live scores. If you click on, if you go to the IPA uh, website, click on the ho on, on the homepage. There's some quick links, so you click click on the quick links to, to live scoring, and that'll take you to the to the homepage uh, for this weekend's uh, events. And you can uh, you know, click on whichever group you want to look at, whichever event you want to look at, and you'll see the scores. That's a great shot. That's a lovely shot. Click on the scores. Uh, results, live scores, it's all on there. So um, that should be on your uh, favourites uh, web pages for this weekend. Some likes to go in the same pocket. Going away from his work, though, isn't he? So it's not going to be easy. Touching, then uh, an easy this, out, is, isn't it? this is tricky. It's tricky. Well, it's not tricky to get the snooker, but uh, it's just leaving it not easy to get out of. Swerve between those two reds. So uh, we've got all the uh, the links to the. Uh, to the stream and to the live scoring uh, on the Facebook page. So you can, uh, that should take you to the home page for the uh, for access to get um, 
all the all the scores for whichever event you choose. Word, put the other way. This would be some shot if he gets this. If he weren't easy. to move that one in the middle but he shouldn't cause him too much uh, problem that one he can get behind that I'll just drop it in he's on the black aren't you on this ball First two frames of the match, he's got uh, four pots to uh, tie things up at uh, two all. I think you'd fancy that black, wouldn't you, Mark? I think Dave would. <laughs> <laughs> so, two all. So this uh, she's shown some early signs that it could be uh, going down to the wire, this one. Right on the overhead then Dave for this one, just for this break. So these um, th these events, Mark, they don't uh, just happen by themselves. There's a, a lot of work goes on behind the scenes, and uh, you know, to put everything together. Would you, would you say this has been quite a smooth um, a smooth one? Definitely not. This has been one of the hardest ones. <laughs> For the hardest work, definitely. Was it harder than Newcastle? Yeah, I think it was. Do you? Yeah, I do. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, I do. I think you've forgotten Newcastle. I've got a video of you uh, moving a table, <laughs> a, a, a slate hundred yards. I can just remind you of that. You look easy over that carpet. <laughs> this is the reason why I haven't come to many tours. <laughs> yes, we had some fun yesterday morning when the uh, when the truck turned up with all the tables and equipment on. Unfortunately, 
Well, unfortunately for us, the um, the tail lift uh, motor burnt out <laughs> after it moved two inches. <laughs> so we had to um, manually remove all the gear tables etc from the from the truck one by one which was pretty tough going <laughs> well, honest now was it definitely not if you if you click on the links the, the scores are updated in real time not when the matches are finished so they are frame by frame updates assuming that the players are updating the, the tablet every table has got a tablet so it should be uh, should be updated as each frame is completed so it's not just results it is um, a full live scoring service that we're now providing can you just drift that white across? Oh, is it? Oh, now then. Is he touching it? Any overhead, Dave? <laughs> Have we got an overhead camera? I'm not sure if he's using it, is he? Is it plugged in? I think you can still pop this, can't he? White's all over. It's in. It's a great shot. It's oh. another breaking dish. Three on the bounce as well. Three frames on the bounce. To have a little chat with Jason when he was marking the marking the score. I think he said he got a little bit of a kick on his uh, on his last uh, yellow. Oh, I see. So we just have a look at either stream quickly, Dave, or on camera six. You're working it hard already, are you? This morning. Let's see Sean Moore at the table. Oh, nice shot. So he's playing now in the London's finest, Toby Bolt. Meanwhile, back to uh, the main table. Andy Blurton to uh, launch some rockets. Oh, oh that one stopped out of the top. Well, he'll be fairly pleased with that. He's, he's, he's at the table, he's got a ball on. It's probably red then, is it? We'll probably get the red, reds in the middle, can he? <coughs> probably not. Yes, next year um, we'll be uh, we'll be bigger and better than this year. Got a few few uh, tricks up our sleeve. We haven't told Dave yet though, but we have. No, we have. But yeah, we've got uh, a few few more ideas for how we can enhance the stream even more. Certainly not in picture quality, but um, in terms of. Um, I don't want to say too much, but um, you know, instead of just having match after match after match. We're going to try and do something uh, a little bit different. So, quite excited about that. I think that'll be, uh, be quite good. Did we say we were going to try that for the world, did we? Or? Yeah, I think you did. That was that was your idea, Mark. Yeah, yeah that good. was very good. Yeah, I think we should. Yeah, I think it's probably a good idea. So, we're going to continue to develop and uh, improve. What else have we got planned for next year? Are we going to pay people on time next year? That'll be good. Yep, yeah, yeah, we're going to do that next year. The number one priority. You've got a few more little helpers now, though, haven't you? So. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. That helps out. You know, and it's you know quite open about things. We've had a few issues this year, and uh, all you can do is deal with them, and uh, you know, take a few, uh, dust yourself down, and uh, and just just move on. But, um, Rome wasn't built in a day, as they say. So, um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's an important aspect of what we do. And, uh, but in terms of you know end products, what you're going to be seeing on the stream, we think that's going to be even better next year. That's Andy's uh, first breaking dish. So we'll just. Um, See how those stats are developing. We're pretty close on the break. They're both, um, you know, Jason's three from three, and there's two from three. Just that missed pop probably is the difference. Not a lot though, is there? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And they missed the black, didn't he? Um, yeah. Yeah, that was. Uh, but he's got back into it, hasn't he? So. Yeah, three all. Still everything to play for. Sure, he's put it out of his mind now. So can Jace continue his run? Is he? Is he got? He has. He's got the black. The black. We've we've not got that column. Blacks from the break. And re rack. Yeah. So if you're new to black ball pool, if you pop the black from the break, that means the uh, balls are re racked and the same person breaks again. See there, Jason racking the balls up. This is going to be a popular shot this weekend, isn't it? The, yeah. uh, the overhead shot on the break. Definitely. Wow, that is a big break. Oh, yeah. Oh. Another ball. Just can't fail at the moment. Get him off the break. Yep. Using the break cue. Just going to turn onto that overstream table that Toby has just won the match. Has he? Yes. Did you say it was 4 1 down? It was 4 1 down on the scoreboard, yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> You're playing nines or. Elevens. Elevens, yeah. Quite a lot of the players now have got their own their own sponsors and uh, that help, you know, help with the costs of uh, of entering these events. Just to remind you, if you want to enter the tour next year, you can do that through uh, through the website and, uh, and the IPA shop, and um, you know secure your place next year as soon as possible. That would be uh, my advice. Uh, deposit is a uh, hundred and fifty pounds, and then uh, it's um, you know, staggered payments over a period of time. So that makes it um, more manageable for people. Last year you take it off by the end of October, didn't you? Well, last year the tour was pretty much full by October, November time. Yeah, yeah it was. Uh, it's I think we had a closing date of like was it February? Oh, well, yeah. To take it down. <laughs> I mean, the closing date is indicative. It, it, it is basically when it's full. Yeah. Um, as such was the demand for this year, we had to increase the uh, the capacity because 192 was our uh, was our aspiration, and we ended up um, 220, 230. Even at Coventry, we had 240. So um, 240 was probably too many. Um, so I think um, 224 would be the absolute max. Um, for next year, so um, so yeah, I would uh, advise to get your deposits in early. Relax, knowing that you've got your place secure, and um, come on tour with us next year and visit some great venues. We're back here next year, 
got some uh, couple of new venues in uh, in Aberdeen and a uh, new venue in Bradford so uh, come on board with us it's a lot of fun a lot of camaraderie at these events Mark isn't there? it's a lot of you know it's a really good good atmosphere yeah yeah definitely I think like uh, well last year and this year they've been really good atmospheres mm. definitely slightly the wrong angle on this one he's just going to leave himself a shot at this is he yeah, he's got probably going to have to leave the, black some, uh, the white somewhere where it is now So the uh, exclusive uh, stream table that's wrapped in uh, very high quality uh, material. Oh, this could be a great Look shot. Look at this. Ooh. Is he just going to drift past? Is he on it? Is he? Oh, I think he I is. I think he's on it. Oh, he is definitely on it. What a great shot that was. And there's Dave's new camera just telling us that he is. And there you go. He nails that. On the wall. What a shot that was. Yep. He's like he's smiling there. <laughs> yeah, he knows the he knows the value of a fraction. He certainly does. So it's his third brick and dish. I'll tell you what, he's, he's looking menacing now, isn't he? Yeah. We didn't give him a chance when he was two 0 down. <laughs> Ripped him off. <laughs> <laughs> you don't win the titles that he's won without uh, no. having a little bit of something that you can uh, fall back on. to uh, launch launch that spotted white ball That's hit them as well eh? yeah another ball from the break Well, there's been some good stuff so far, hasn't there? Yeah. It really has. Yeah, for a for a Friday morning. Yes, it's been great. I tell you what I've noticed as well the last um well, probably this year really, the, the speed of the matches is considerably faster than I've ever seen. Um whether it's the cloth, people are getting better or people are more aggressive in the play, what it's probably a combination of, of the lot but you know matches are I mean that match with Toby Ball so it, I'm not sure the score but say he won 6-4 I think he did well they, 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 they've done it in uh, 45 minutes yeah I think it's the rule set Mate, a lot of it's down to the rule set and the quality of players yeah definitely and uh, it's, just, it's a factor of everything with the cloth as well yeah makes the game doesn't it the best conditions you get the best the best standard don't you yeah so Andy looking to respond with his own breaking dish. They landed a bit straight. We should be all right there. We must have a camera somewhere that can tell us that. <laughs> He's not in perfect position, but it's definitely another chance, isn't it? Yeah, I think he's he's going to have to um, run this through a fair bit, I think. Yeah, because he didn't want to be leaving too much angle to go down the table. He'd be running into walls, wouldn't he? Mm. He's got to run it through, leave himself a, a manageable clip on the uh, yellow into the right middle. Where he can uh, control the white and try and kiss onto something. Oh. And uh, that miss might just be down to you know Jason's put him under a bit of pressure, hasn't he? With his breaking clearances. Yeah, I think he just had to push the boat a little bit on that 
on that shot yeah. and uh, you know if you don't hit those ones into the middle 100% they'll spit out such fine lines isn't it such fine lines it is You just decide. I don't think that's a plant to the top. It might be that. It's close. Be able to make it. The overhead camera might show it, but uh, that's what he's looking for. <laughs> it's not direct, is it? You're twisting your head round just to see if I go. No, it's easy. Oh, we tried. Oh, where's oh, the one going? Light? That is unlucky. You did deserve that one. Do we class that as an unforced error? Come on in off. Four control. Probably, it's an, yeah. It's an enforced in, but yeah. He's got a reprieve there, Andy, hasn't he? After his miss, he's not been punished. Yeah. Yeah, that could have been... Uh, could have opened up a two-frame lead there, as it is. I think it's going to be uh, tied up at four all. Got some new uh, new lights um, over the stream table as well, uh, some uh, LED lights that we're just trialling out for this this event. That, uh, we're going to be looking to use next year. So, um, looking pretty good. <coughs> so, these new lights have they been tested on the pool scene before? Or? Not this spec. Uh, I know there are LED lights. Uh, already out there on the market um, but um, yeah we're just trying uh, our own version and I um, think we like the results so I um, think we're meeting the chappy who, uh, the company that's provided them this weekend Let's see if we can um, Read the deal. Mm. We're hoping to get them in for the worlds, then, are we? Or yep. That's what we're hoping for. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Oh, uh, definitely a reprieve there for Andrew. Um, he was a bit unlucky there, though, Jason. When he, you know, yeah, because he he played the plan the and he tried to develop his his red on the on the rail. Mm. Just caught the uh, just caught the knuckle and uh, the white agonisingly just <laughs> dropped in dead weight in the uh, in the corner bag. It's been pretty ruthless with this break, though, Jason has. Yeah, it's four out. Four Is it out. Four. Keep going. Is dry. Oof. Oh, and the white's gone in. Uh -huh. So, is that another unforced error? Is the white going in? So we always call it errors, don't we, when the white goes in? Mm, yep. I don't think it's got kicked in that easily, did it? It might have had a little flick. And he's going to be uh, be tempted with these uh, with these yellows. Although there's a case for putting the yellow in front of the black and going for reds. It uh, just depends how he sees it. So 
So if you're new to, to the IPA stream and uh, you're wondering what this uh, this blue cloth they're playing on is, um, Mark, do you want to uh, enlighten people as to... Uh well, the actual name of it is a, is it a hybrid cloth, is that correct, isn't it? Blue powder? Well, it's... We call it hybrid, but it has got a slight nap, hasn't it? No, there's no nap on it. There's no nap on there's it? There's no nap oh, right. on it. No. no. I thought that was a talk that was just in a... I think hybrid is a bit of a... It's more like how it feels that it's a hybrid, I think. It's, it feels... You can sort of feel the weave. Yeah, because it doesn't feel like a nine-ball table, does it? I don't think. No, no. Definitely not. But the, uh, the cloth is a uh, uh, Strachan uh, 861 cloth in powder blue. So if you've uh, played it in your local club, seen it, not sure what, it, what, all, what it's all about, you know, where's my green gone? Um, well, this is the future, folks. There's definitely a lot more places getting it, isn't there? Right, okay, yep. Yeah. We're going to uh, just have a, a very quick close up of the cloth. You can see there, so you can see the, the sort of weave on the cloth. It is um, coated in a, in a spill guard uh, coating, which I think is what, what you sort of feel. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's, um, that's the cloth. In glorious high definition. I like that when it zooms out. See that, that should be a good a camera shot. Let's see the whole from the zoom to, to all out. I like that. So yeah, this is the cloth that's taken the pull world by storm. Um, I think it's fair to say, looking at social media, that uh, the majority uh, of players who have played on it um, are really liking it. Obviously, there's one or two who don't, and that will always be the case. I think it definitely favours the club owners as well, though, because it? Yeah, it is mm. sort of. Well, it's definitely low maintenance, isn't it? It doesn't take a lot, <coughs> lasts longer, you know, so yeah. it's in favour of the, uh, the club owners. Yeah, very much so. It does. Um, it does last quite a long time. Uh, certainly, a lot longer than, than standard uh, cloth, um, and you pay a bit more for it. But it's not. It's not ridiculously more. Uh, but yeah, certainly for clubs because it um, contains the spill guard. Um, I've seen some um, some horrific spillages on on the cloth, and they've they've sort of dabbed it down, cleaned it, and and the cloth's good as new. That's a nice shot. So that's uh, yes, and certainly low maintenance. You don't uh, you don't iron this cloth. It's um, uh, you sort of pad it. We, uh, we use um, we call it the X1. It's, uh, not a, not a version of a BMW. It's um, it's like a pad, and it, it works by friction. So it um, it sucks the, uh, the the chalk dust off. Yeah, the X61 is something that we, we trialled for a couple of years. Um, firstly, at Brighton, and we did a, a sort of last man standing event for the professionals. Uh, and the feedback from, from the players was, was really positive. So we expanded it uh, last year to uh, for all the World Series events. And we've expanded it again by uh, making it all the IPA events. And um, we're delighted to see that uh, the EBA have now uh, endorsed the cloth and we'll be using it from their European Championships event in Bridlington from from next year. They've agreed a three year deal with Simonis who manufacture it. So that's that's great news. Ooh, I thought it overcooked that one. So. 
Is that classed as a reverse dish because he went in off? I think it is, isn't it? So, yeah, I mean, um, personally, I'm, um, as a, from a player's perspective, the first time I played it, I thought it was superb. Um, and I think just, just what the game needs in terms of uh, freshening up the look. You know, I think the green is, uh, is a bit dated, a bit 1980s for me. So it's all part of uh, the brand and the image of the sport. We want it to look modern, not stuck in the dark ages. So, um, plus it, 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 the, the cloth allows you to be more expansive. You, know, you can play more shots on it because it's quite grippy in nature. Um, obviously it plays slightly differently to, uh, to, to, to green. But... Um, Nothing that nobody can't get used to pretty quickly. So another dry break for Andy. Yes, the table wrap says Simonis because at the beginning of the year, uh, when we started using it, uh, we could say Simonis made the cloth. But uh, once we agreed the contract with them, um, which was in the middle of the year, um, they wanted to rebrand it to Strachan, um, to Strachan 861. So um, all the new sort of promotional material that we that we use uh, has Strachan 861 on. But uh, yeah, the table is, is uh, I mean, that was done at the World Championships uh, when it was wrapped. So um, so that is why. So yes, yeah, Simonis bought Strachan. So Strachan is, uh, is a brand under a company called WSP Textiles, and uh, Simonis um, bought that company uh, last year. I think it was. was missed. How straight did that ball go? Did it you see that? Straight, yeah. Never Very. moved. Never moved a millimetre. Credit to Louis. Who uh, was up till quarter to four, levelling all the tables up. And looking at him, you can tell he was up till quarter to <laughs> four, can't you? Great job. Because yeah. if any ball was going to roll off, it would be one that is a centimetre off a rail, mm. going the full length of the table. <laughs> it went straight as a dime, did Yeah. Peter, I agree with you. I do think it's the best cloth that this sport has ever seen. I think it's the biggest change certainly visually that has ever happened to the sport and I think it's absolutely the right thing to do of course I'm going to say that but I say it as a player uh, and as a, as a chairman and as somebody who's passionate about the game who wants it to, to get to where it should be and um, it is without doubt the best class Another one. This venue, this is um, the sister hotel of the Bradford Hotel that um, that we've used for the. Oh, he's not going to reach. Oh yeah, it's pulled wow. out. It's the sister hotel of the Bradford Hotel that we've used um, the last few years for the World Championships and uh, for a bit longer for the tour events. And um, yeah, it's a great room. Great room, very uh, very well set out. Certainly fits our needs perfectly. Nice big centre area where we can put the stream in and plenty of seating round, and then uh, plenty of room for the uh, for the other tables um, at the side of the venue. So um, I think it's a good find. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's been a long time coming, hasn't it, to find these good venues about. 
Yeah, it's not easy. So you can see from the camera shots there the some of the action on the uh, outer tables. And uh, can we zoom in on on number 14? It's just going to show off now, isn't it? So there yeah, we can zoom in onto that table there. So that's David Priestley. Not sure who is playing. But yeah, we can uh, we can zoom in into uh, different parts of the room now because of all this uh, high tech kit that uh, <laughs> Dave's found. <laughs> <laughs> Just found in his cupboards at home. <laughs> but, uh, yes. Just got to look around and take it all in. I mean, yeah, it's just the, the kit here is. Yeah, it's undercooked that one. So it's had a few swings and roundabouts this match, hasn't it? It's. Uh, So there's going to be some more, isn't there? There's got to be. Yeah. This is what the viewers love there, don't they? They love the they love a, bit of, game. a bit of early morning drama. That's what we want, isn't it? Nice little audience building up. Uh, watching, we've got a uh, contingent from the northeast just on our, on our left. And you can see another seat, he's just showing off now, isn't he? Just showing off, just with all these different camera shots. He's listening, isn't he? Yeah, everything we're saying. So there's a bit of action in the other side of the room, isn't there? Yeah. This is a nice setup, isn't it? Because you've got your stream table. As soon as you walk into the room, it's right in the middle, and then you've got the action on both sides as well, aren't you? Mm. This will be a great venue for the first tour of the year, you know, as, as opposed to the last. Yeah. Yeah, because we're no problem getting another what, six to eight tables in here quite easily. Yeah. yeah. Not a, problem. Not a problem. As long as Dave can bring any more kit, we'll get the tables in. That's right, yeah. He's only got the five monitors, two monitors here. One, two, three. I don't know. It's just he must everywhere have, uh, you look. What? 50 mile of cable? <laughs> That's just that's just for the satellite dish. It's <laughs> a good shot. And he don't want to be straight. Oh, he's straight. He's day straight. He's, well, we'd have to run this through and take the tough flat. Yeah, you can just see on the overhead that uh, this is uh, very straight. <laughs> he's just running this through, probably with the white somewhere near the jaws of the of the corner bag. And these ones down the rails. If you do overhit these, they do come out, don't they? Just had a little yeah, bit there, ten. yep. This is going to test his queuing. Big shot. He's already missed one black, he's not there. This is a big shot. This big moment it. in this match. It's there. Absolutely Love. nailed it. He meant that one. Great shot. And that is why Andy Blurton is regarded as one of the best players around at the moment. Yeah. Replay, yeah. We'll have a look at this black. If you missed it, I hope you did. From the overhead shot. Does not touch the sides. Wow. Straight in. That is superb queuing up under pressure. He's putting his stamp on this match now. Yeah. He's got his two frame lead back that he had at the start of the match. Good morning to everyone who's uh, who's now got out of bed or you've just managed to uh, sneak on it, sneak it on at work without the boss looking. It's 
to dry. He is. It's gone dry. And from uh, being four out of four, he's now uh, only four out of six. So let us know. Give us your feedback on the stream. You know, there's 200 or so of you watching. So um, let us know what you think. Tell us where you're watching. We well, you know there's people watching. There'll be people watching from probably around 100 countries this weekend. Yeah. Usually about the norm. So if you're watching somewhere unusual. Right, so okay, there'll be some people watching it secretly, won't there? Oh, there will be, yeah. Definitely. Just having a little sneaky look uh, in between there. Doing a few spreadsheets. <laughs> Waiting for the boss to go out to a, a, a lunchtime meeting. Friday lunchtime meeting. Can just get it on. Put it on the big screen. <laughs> from South Africa what a great country I really enjoyed the trip there last year is that when you was, uh, found uh, a giraffe mate is that a, is that's, that where you that's yeah that's where I made a giraffe famous <laughs> but, uh, you know, what a great trip great country really enjoyed it just can't wait to go back whenever that will be not sure yet but um a seven day one, wasn't it? You, you no, seven day? I think we, we, we were there for four nights. Four nights, yeah. Yeah, but um, yeah, great place, great people. Really enjoyed it. Keith Briggs, he's watching in the car on the way to work. Keith, is that legal? I'm not sure you should be telling me that. Well, I hope somebody else is driving. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and uh, and, uh, and and texting in as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we've worked that out. That uh, he's definitely not driving. <laughs> <laughs> well, who's holding the wheel? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, Roy, Lee, Roy Lisa, they're uh, from Hartlepool Pool League. They're watching. But where are you watching from, Roy Lisa? Are you in the kitchen? Where are you? Peter Hale from Merthyr Tidville. Keith, is, Keith, it's all right, everyone. Keith's a passenger. <laughs> Nobody panic. <laughs> Nobody panic. Keith, who's driving? Tell us who's driving. Put Mark's mind at rest, isn't it? I'm on edge here. I'm on edge. <laughs> but this is great play from Andy Blurton. It is. Another reverse dish. 7 4 on the hill. There's the final black again. One's missed it. Yep. Certainly a lot easier than the, than the previous frame. Certainly is. The big dog uh, from uh, somewhere called Scotland. So, I've heard of that place. It's miles from here. Yeah. That is. We've got quite a few Scottish lads here this weekend, haven't we? Yep. Adam Kirk, yeah. I've made the travel. Morning, Adam. Yeah, he wants more interesting commentators. Oh, I right. can we'll get us two off then. Okay. <laughs> see, if, uh, see if we can find any. <laughs> you come down and do it yourself, no problem. So, now then, come we've, help got, us we've, out. we've got a bit of a difference here because somebody's watching from sunny North Devon. Sunny? And then somebody else is watching from wet and windy South Devon. <laughs> Wow. Uh, so, what? Whether uh, Devon's having a bit of a a mix a mix today? 
McDonald's in Newark. Um, is that where Jules Goodyear's club is? It Newark. is, yeah. It is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it is. Brighton, Breezy Bolton, Scott Jones, he's in work, but don't tell anyone. We'll, we'll, we'll not say a word. Don't worry, Scott, your boss is probably watching as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a nice little flick off the red. Yeah, definitely missing that as well. And just to put another spanner in the work, somebody's watching from neither sunny nor wet mid Devon. That's oh, yeah. definitely confusing now. So Devon has just got everything today. Yeah. So don't. <laughs> Paul O'Brien, he's got it on his fire stick on his 48 inch TV. And then he's just waiting for it to go past 12 so he can open a can of beer. So he, doesn't, <laughs> so he doesn't feel so bad drinking in the morning. Yeah. Only half an hour to go, Peter. Uh, Paul. Uh, you've got plenty in, because we've got plenty of non-stop <laughs> action here. Yeah, we've got Simon Webb on next. You might need to, uh, might need to stock up. Yeah. Sounds like need the sun cream on in Devon. Well, not if you're in the... Um, <laughs> <laughs> if you're in the south, south. <laughs> so Jason Twist just getting back to the match rather than the the weather in Devon. And it's, um, the weather in Devon. <laughs> he needs to make sure of this. It's got a little bit of room. Yes. That has worked quite quickly here. That's pretty good. I didn't see what happened to Andy's break. Is Andy broken this one, did he? Too busy talking about the... Uh, the weather in Devon. The weather. I presume it was a dry break. It must be with seven left. Yep. Well done, Poirot. And the blacklist uses all of the bag. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it. Well. it counts. He's still in. So we've established that nobody in Devon is doing any work today. <laughs> because they're, uh, they're all tuning in. Adam Kirk rooting for Mark Boyle. Mm. Well, he's, he's gone two tours. He's gone two tours without winning anything. No. What's going on? We thought he was going to win every one the way he <laughs> started off like a machine. We were going to set a standing order up for him. He's not here yet, anyway, is he? He's yeah, he came last night. Oh, he's here last night, was he? Yeah, he came last night. Yeah, yeah because he came by. He came playing, didn't he? He's got a ball. No. He's got a ball. Now then, can he get right back into this match? So what's he gonna go for? He wants he wants yellows, but he's not. Well, yellow at the top, on the top cushion is not easy. He may be forced to go for reds. Try and develop something. Pot this one in the corner. Try and develop something on this bottom end. It's tricky. Three. Definitely getting out of the business under this match now. So he needs to be making the right decision. Playing out. Wow. Wow. Who saw that one? <laughs> well, I think all the Devon uh, watchers <laughs> did. There's plenty of them. <laughs> well, well, they're too busy checking the weather, I don't know. <laughs> So it's still an open table. What a shot this is. Let's watch his shot again. Wow. Yep. Great shot. So it's been a bit so unlucky, we've landed. 
the I don't think we can can he pop any of them two that's together? Maybe he's gotta go upstairs, maybe. Well he's, uh, he's not got some great options. I don't want this straight. I think he's just gonna drop this in, isn't he? I'm not sure what his options are. Ian McKay oh. emigrated from uh, Leeds to Plymouth. He's uh, he's in Devon as well. Is he? Yeah. Uh, wow. He's um, he he won't have a clue what the weather is because he's still in bed. <laughs> Cued that nice. Needs an angle though. He's gonna have to. He's got to thread this, hasn't he, through the angle? Which, way, which way would you go in? Wow. Well, I think. I think he's gonna stun it onto the top rail, yep, and then with right hand side, just bring it down on this right hand side of the table. In between the gap, yeah? Yeah, this, this is, is gonna be a tough shot. Got a good shot. Let's see if he gets too, too much bottom on it. This looks good. This looks very good. Can it miss that? No. Nope. He, he was unlucky there. <coughs> he is. Still going to have a sh well. When I say a shot at it. Is you know it's only one cushion escape, so. He just needs to get this over the bag if he can. He needs a bit of luck here. A little yeah. bit of luck. If not, it could be the end of the match. Here we go. Is it it's it? close. Oh. Mm. Okay. No, it's that's close. I'll tell you what, does that go in the top right? I think it does. Definitely goes in the top right. It's a big shot. This is a game. You can run it through with an element of of safety. He's got. He's certainly got options. He's in the box seat. He's just got to choose the right shot. So I'm um, just catching up back on the chat again. So Paul O'Brien. Paul O'Brien. He's waiting for twelve o'clock. So he can he can tuck into his first tinny. Okay. Um, Not too long left then. And he's got a he's got a crate full in the in the fridge. So he's he's prepared for today. Very good. And then um, he's running a tournament tonight that uh, is going to generate some money for uh, Macmillan Cancer Relief. Oh, so um, every success with that one uh, tonight, Paul. For a great cause, great cause. So uh, Wayne Bristow, who's watching, he does all our uh, artwork, all our posters, our web adverts, he even designed the new logo. So I uh, hope you're enjoying uh, the action, uh, matey. Is he at work as well? Yeah, we've not, we've not to mention it to his boss, though, oh, but, right, okay. uh, but he's watching. <laughs> he puts... Uh, some great material that, uh, that we share through the websites and social media. So, um, Tyler Duncan, he's watching from wet south of Essex. Big shot. He's missed it, I think. Oh, it's just going in there. Yeah. I was right behind that shot. I wasn't quite sure if it was just going to uh, wobble in the jaws. So if you want to see the um, 
the list of matches that are, are coming up today if you go on to uh, the IPA Facebook page so you can see the, the order the order of matches so following this match we've got another another south one of the top players from the southwest um, uh, Josh Durant he's playing uh, Simon Webb uh, that's followed by Harry Irwin, Michael Oliver. Then we've got Ben Rowland, Jason Remington, Curtis Lee, James Hanney, Steve Wall, Liam Dunster, Andrew McKee, Christian Phillips, Drew Hughes, Ryan Fleming, John McAllister, Adam Brown, Zach Wilkinson, Jack Whelan. That's a full... That's a full stash of matches, though, isn't it? It certainly is. Definitely a lot of action. So keep the, keep the comments in, tell us where you're watching from. It must be more than people in Devon uh, watching. Ones that aren't working. It's good to talk. Good to talk, that's what somebody once said, wasn't it? Bob Hoskins. Was it? I mean, it was, yeah, it was on the advert. <laughs> Good to talk. Showing your age now, Kev. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen the repeats. <laughs> <laughs> and he's looking like he's going to close the match out here. He's a little bit short where he wanted to be. Yeah, he can hold that. Probably spin it off two, two cushions, two rails. To take the pace out of the cue ball, just like that. Perfect. Single position now. Back in it. I think Jason is fearing the worst. Yeah, just had a big shot there to get back onto it. You know, for breaking dish to get seven six. You know, I'm unlucky to fit the red. Yeah. He was asking a lot. Keith Mitchell, he's watching from cloudy Rochester. Is there nowhere sunny in this in this country? He looked out these windows. <laughs> Not seen a window. We don't normally see outside until uh, till Sunday night, do we? No. And then it's black. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so three pots away, Andy, from uh, progressing in the professional event, which comes to a conclusion uh, on Sunday. So we'll... Uh, We'll potentially see Andy again. No doubt he'll be uh, wanting to do uh, do the business in the uh, in the open event as well. That's reacted off there, hasn't it? Yeah. Oh, there it is. There it is. Well played, Andy Blurton. We'll uh, we'll shall we get him in the box. Yeah, can we get him in to have a talk to? Yep, you yeah, get, him in. get him in there with you. Yep. So we'll just grab, uh, just grab Andy once he's uh, put his cue away and uh, 